dreams of you all through my head. Hey guys, so today went a lot differently than expected. Uh, I woke up really early so that I could get ready and get professionally dressed or business casual for a uh, doctorate of nursing pra practice DNP um, uh, intensive conference that we're having to do all week long. Um, so I woke up at 5, it was still dark, went to go feed the horses, and I found poor little pony, even though he probably deserved every bit of what he got. Um, his left side of his face was completely swollen and he was turning left-handed circles, couldn't walk straight that well, and he was like holding his head to the left and twitching his lips to the left. So I thought something was seriously wrong, called the vet right away. She said to give him uh, four cc's of banamine and bring him in. So that's what we did. Um, pretty quickly after I gave him the banamine, his uh, neurological symptoms went away. So we think he got kicked in the face because he's been such a jerk face to Buck. Um, I think Buck just had enough of it and finally bucked back, which I don't blame him because he's been such a jerk to him. Um, and caught him right in the face and so she thought that all the swelling was causing um, the facial nerve to get pinched and that's why he was having those neurological symptoms but he's symptom free now and she took a look at his teeth and took some x-rays of his skull and everything looked completely fine she said he was really lucky um, so I'll show you guys all a video of that um, spent the whole morning doing that I also took Buck along with him because I was going to take him to the vet this afternoon anyway after this conference um, so he could get castrated tomorrow. So Buck's already at the vet, he'll have his castration tomorrow and I am on my way to the rest of this intensive meeting I couldn't get out of the afternoon so I'm not very excited about that at all. I'm going to have a big old glass of wine when I get home. Here we are from this morning at the vet getting x-rays. I don't know if you can tell very well from this video, but his left side of his face is still a little bit swollen, but the banamine is an anti-inflammatory, and he got that IV, and once he got that, within a few hours, it went down a lot. But here's the x-ray pictures, and everything looked completely fine, and once the swelling went down on his face, the facial nerve totally recovered, so he has no more neurological symptoms. Tucker Boo's all tucked in. Last night with the boys. Say bye bye boys. They're very concerned about where Pony has been. Hi guys. Ganyas, he's home, it's okay. <laughs> okay, Chris. All right, let's get Pony out. Oh my goodness, y'all settle down. <laughs> Where has your little buddy been? Oh no! Oh, y'all settle down. All right, little bit. Yes, I know you were bad. Gotta take a trip to the vet. See his big swollen lip. Come on, you can do it. You're a big boy. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. It's okay. Woo! Oh. Reunited and it feels so good. He's back. It's okay. He's gonna survive and make a full recovery. He did not let them take his boys without a fight. But he's doing real good. We're headed home. Eating and drinking, that's very exciting. So we're home. He seems to have a good appetite. That's good. Uh, not sure how well you guys can see it. That's what it looks like currently. She said, let him be overnight and then tomorrow you can clean his legs and start cold hosing it. And Pony's doing much better. He seems to have 
made a full recovery. Um, his face looks better. The vet didn't want him to have space to be able to trot. She said he doesn't necessarily have to be inside of a stall. And since my feeding stalls are dirt stalls, um, I didn't want him to be laying in the dirt. Um, so he's going to be in this outdoor stall. Um, it used to be a cow chute that we've um, fenced off the cow chute part. So he's all tucked in. He's got his hay and his water. If you guys got a firehouse subs in your area, go to them and they will let you purchase these big pickle buckets for like, I think it's like $2.50. It's pretty cheap. And they're better than those big five gallon Home Depot buckets. This is what I always travel with. So, you clamp down the lid and it does not spill at all. That bucket is chock full. So I travel this with the trailer. Uh, we're gonna go carry it over to Buck. Hey Buck! <laughs> Uh, so he got 10 cc's of, he's so silly, 10 cc's of banamine at the vet and they gave him a, a IM shot of uh, antibiotics. So he actually doesn't have to be on antibiotics. Um, and the vet said just to look for swelling, uh, that it is supposed to drain so don't be concerned if you see drain itch, but it shouldn't like pour out. Uh, he got 10 cc's of banamine at the vet's office, and she said just give him 10 more cc's tomorrow. Um, and just kind of monitor for swelling and excess drainage, and uh, she said you can start cold hosing it tomorrow, and we'll clean his legs tomorrow and cold hose it for a few days. And tomorrow he can go out in small turnout, so... He'll actually go out in that little paddock over there. It's about a quarter acre side paddock. And then the next day he can go out with the other horses. So I'll check him again. He's all tucked in. We'll check him again in about an hour. And then we'll do a night check tonight. And then he'll have a little more freedom tomorrow. So it went well. He's got a pretty good appetite. Uh, she said just monitor him for a few hours make sure he doesn't act colicky but he's already drank some water at the vet and here and um he can have half of his grain tonight and then go back to normal tomorrow so tonight he'll get um, some slippery elm in his grain which is supposed to help coat their gi tract and prevent ulcers and it is supposed to freeze tonight which hey <laughs> Will actually be a good thing. It'll kind of keep the flies out of the area. Um, it's supposed to be cool for a few days, and then I've got SWAT that I can put on the area if you will let me. Um, we'll know tomorrow with the cold hosing how sensitive he is and how um, if he'll be okay with me touching or accessing his his private area. But he doesn't seem to be mad at me. It's probably a good thing I actually wasn't there because he can't connect me with his demasculation. I'm the one that saved him and brought him home. The vet's the bad guy. So I didn't want the leg straps to be hanging between his legs. So what I did was just take the leg straps off. And we made a tail strap with some baling twine. I just want to talk about... Don't walk and drive at the same time. I know I do it a lot, so do what I say, not as I do. But I set it up before I start driving, and it's like talking on a hands-free phone, um, if you want to look at it that way. But I really don't condone it, so I don't encourage people to do it. I just, I don't have a whole lot of free time to sit around the house and film narratives. So that's why. Um, if you feel like I should stop doing it, I will stop doing it. But I uh, just wanted to have that little disclaimer in there. Leftover Easter food with specific.
Sketty from a couple nights ago? I think so.